Never four six three nine over back on some tower runway three six left clear to land when it's zero seven zero five. Clear to land runway three six left three nine back. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Huntsville International, Carl T. Jones Field, or HSV, is a medium-sized multi-use airport located between the cities of Huntsville and Decatur, Alabama. It has associated Class Charlie airspace and is in close proximity to restricted airspace that will be discussed later in this video. Also located close by, just four miles northeast, is the Redstone Army Airfield, or HUA, with its own Class Delta airspace. The runway configurations are somewhat similar and many pilots have mistaken HUA for HSV. During pre-flight planning, pilots should review the rules and requirements for operating in and around the various types of airspace and make themselves aware of the nearby airfields. The traffic mix is diverse, from air carriers, general and business aviation, all the way to large and heavy air cargo aircraft. KHSV sees them all. There is also a flight school located on the field. The mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes the airport a challenging environment for pilots and controllers alike. The runway configuration is made up of a set of parallel runways labeled runway 18 left and right and 36 left and right. The runway 36 left and right thresholds are also staggered. The taxiway system is straightforward and provides access to facilities and services found between the runways and on the east side of the airport. As with any airport in this configuration, the risk of wrong surface landings does exist. Clearly understanding and reading back what runway you have been assigned with the knowledge that it may change for several reasons will help mitigate this issue. Another mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or GPS waypoint aligned with the runway on which you are landing. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, refer to the operator's manual for the equipment in your aircraft. This can help ensure you are on the appropriate final. Special emphasis during flight planning also needs to be paid to the restricted areas located just east of the airport. These are live fire areas and usually go hot on demand. The perimeter of these areas are delineated by geographical features. Close inspection of the VFR sectional chart will show the western boundary indicated by a two-lane road, the south side following a river, and the east side marked by a twin-span bridge, which is also indicated as a VFR reporting point. Aircraft inbound from the east and northeast when HSV is landing south can expect sequencing for a much longer final to help avoid this area. If you are having difficulty identifying the landmarks or they're just unfamiliar, please advise approach control and they will help you stay clear. There are two hot spots found on the surface. The general aviation ramp has two taxiways, Echo 2 and Echo 3, both of which provide direct access to runway 18 left 36 right. Pilots have missed the turn onto taxiway Echo and incurred the runway. It is a good practice to understand your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you start to taxi. Once moving, continual scanning for surface markings, above ground signage, and runway guard lights will go a long way in avoiding this type of error. Pilots should be aware of a few other areas. The tower is not open continuously. Check the chart supplement for operating hours. While the tower is closed, pilots need to use the common traffic advisory frequency to announce their location and intentions. Knowing what your destination on the airport is and sharing it with the tower while inbound will help the tower get you where you are going safely and expeditiously. If you are arriving after sunset, be aware that runway 18 right 36 left has the new brighter LED runway and taxiway lights and will stand out, especially when compared to runway 18 left 36 right. The same caution about the restricted areas inbound is applied to departures as well. You can expect headings or instructions to keep you clear of this airspace. If you are ever in doubt of any instruction or clearance, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. 
being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at HSV will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Huntsville International Carl T. Jones Field. It's always better to know before you go.